Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're going to have a brief look at the Dissenter browser. This is a new browser that came out from Gab.ai. And uh, if you're not familiar with why this browser came out, it was actually when Gab released a plugin called the Dissenter plugin, which would allow you to put comments on anything. And Firefox came out and banned that. Uh, and Firefox has been doing a few things like that that caused some of the people in that sector to have concerns about the direction Firefox is going as they're seeming to ban more speech aspects. Why is this important? Well, because we need to have a voice no matter what the case happens to be. And, you know, there's the situations and the surroundings like Tim Pool had a video on Project Veritas taken out. Uh, taken down um, all because apparently Pinterest was blocking uh, certain phrases that were not dangerous phrases and even putting certain companies on pornography block lists despite not having anything to do with any of that. There's a lot of tech censorship going on and so a, a grassroots organizations are coming up and trying to make sure that free speech stays free speech. Now of course that doesn't mean that you can run into a crowded movie theater and yell fire. Free speech has responsibilities and limitations where the law allows. But what happens is that a lot of these platforms are getting to this point where they seem to be censoring speech based on political agendas rather than on what is illegal and what is legal. And that's the, that's the ultimate point is we need to make sure that whatever we're doing on the internet, you know, we can get together, we can talk about, uh, talk about, uh, issues and have a discussion and have a debate because I disagree with you on a certain point, be it political or social or anything else, doesn't mean I am ex phobic or whatever else. It just means we disagree. And Organizations like Gab.ai have come out and said, hey, as long as speech is not illegal, we will allow it. And so when Firefox banned the Dissenter plugin, they said, you know what? We're just going to make a browser. And so we're going to have a look at that web browser today. So I've installed this on... Um, on my Zorin um, box here in virtual machine. So when you come over to the Dissenter page, it's Dissenter.com. You can see the URL up at the top. Now this ticker that's going up here, this is because I've actually come in and logged in. So the browser itself has the Dissenter plugin built in. When you sign into your Gab account, then uh, you'll get this ticker up the top. I wonder if I can get rid of that. I'm not sure if it's perpetually there either. I, like I said, I just logged in. Okay, so apparently not. So maybe it's just certain pages. I don't know. Like I said, we're, we're just having a quick look at this. Now, first under the hood, what do we have under the hood? The center is actually a fork of the Brave browser. So all of the features and functions in the Brave browser you're generally going to find here. They've removed the bat and they have did the branding uh, to match their individual branding. So effectively, this is like a Brave browser under the hood. Um, so I installed the browser, and then the only thing I did is I got rid of the Zorin start page because that's not representative of the browser. And then, of course, I logged into the Gab AI account. Now, what that's going to allow you to do is you can actually leave comments on any page on the Internet. So if I were to go to uh, CNN, for example, um, which they may not like various comments. I can actually come up to the top up here and I can actually leave comments on uh, this page. And so anyone else with a gab.ai account who comes into here can actually see the various comments. So you can see here, um, this is why some people don't necessarily like it. You know, you got the learn to code, they're trolling it. Uh, CNN breaking out, orange man bat, you know, this is where some of the negativity has come from is, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to make, make a stance one way or the other. Am I a, an end user of the dissenter plugin to leave comments? No, I don't overwhelmingly leave comments on things, but this is certainly an interesting browser to look at. So we install it, and uh, when you head on over to their website, you can download the browser. They are available for Windows, only 64-bit versions. You can get it for the Mac. 
You can download an RPM and a dev package. It is also available in the Arch user repository. I'm not sure if you can get it anywhere else. Why is it not in any uh, repos yet? Things like that? Eh, because it's too new. This is, is a very new project. Um, so you can also, this is just where you can download the Decenter plugin for various browsers, despite you can't find it in the Firefox um, plugin browser, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, once you come in here, and uh, again, this is just going to be like your um, uh, like your Brave browser, which is a uh, a fork of Chromium. So if we come over here, we can come in here. Are the center options so you can determine what types of um, uh, content scripts are available inside the center. And let's go ahead and have a look at your uh, basic settings. So there's extra block lists. Uh, the browser settings. So this is where, like I said, they've done the branding very much like, uh, you know, they, they've done their branding to match the, the Gab interface rather than the um, uh, Brave interface. So over here you can set where you want your uh, where you want your page to open up with. Like I said, the only change I made in here is I just opened the new tab page instead of the, the specific page, which was the Zorin start page. Um, so there's various extensions. Um, and by default, so the defaults, it's going to block ads. You can also toggle this to allow ads and tracking. By default, it blocks third-party cookies. This is something that I wish that Firefox did out of the box because they sit there and say, we're for privacy too. They're really not. They enable um, third-party cookies out of the box on Firefox. You can easily change it for sure, but this out of the box is blocking your third parties. It's going to block third party fingerprinting. It's going to enable HTTPS everywhere, which is good. It does not block scripts out of the box, but you can easily toggle this guy on and block scripts. Um, social media, you can show or block various aspects. So for me, I don't really want any connections to Facebook or things. I might allow Google connections, depending on if I'd want to try and use this browser to go on YouTube, and we'll give that a try. Uh, search engine in the address bar, we have DuckDuckGo, Bing, Google, Quant, and Start Page. We'll just stick with DuckDuckGo for now. We can actually manage our search engines. We can go with a light or a dark theme. Um, let's go ahead and have a look at the dark. And then here's various themes. We can use the GDK theme or use the classic themes. And so you can toggle the various different buttons on the top. So nothing super surprising there. Now, what I have heard is that out of the box, it does not generally do um, um, DRM content. So let's just go ahead and have a look at, uh, let's go to YouTube. And we will go ahead and uh, see if we can play a video and start this guy here. So that is running. I can actually crank this up, I think. As you guessed it, switching to Linux. You can actually see that uh, it is playing. So it does seem to be playing just fine. Let's go ahead and full screen that. Yeah, no real issues on, on YouTube. Let's check something that is uh, more DRM locked. So one place to go for that. Let's check out view. Yahoo.com. This is where you can get some free Hulu shows. I know these guys are DRM locked. Uh, let's maybe later. Hmm. Wow, nothing looks exciting. All right, let's just go with this. All right. Um, so this is an unsupported browser. It wants to install Wildvine. So this is a package that you can do. So if you were to allow this guy, then in theory, that's going to allow it. This might actually be because this uses a ton of stuff. In fact, I think the problem is this actually requires third-party trackers to not be blocked. So if I were to do all this, let me shields down for this individual site, give this another try, and let's see if it actually loads this time. Ooh, it looks like it might be loading. Then we have autoplay was blocked. Let's allow autoplay on this, done. All right, so now it is does appear to be playing. So yeah, it looks like we can actually play play something over here. So 
Uh, you ha did have to turn off the shields because this site, hey, you can watch some free uh, free Hulu shows on it, but hey, you got to suffer yourself through your ads and things like that. So turn off your blocking, turn on Wild Vine and allow the autoplay or just manually come in and play the video. So that does seem to work. So, you know, we can do DRM reviewed content. We can watch some YouTube videos. Of course, I could come over here since they don't have a, a comment page on this. I could actually come over here and I could comment on this particular guy and that's what this ticker feed is up here is I think this is just a ticker feed of the most um, uh, most viewed things. This again is connected to a Gab account. Do you have to sign into a Gab.ai account to use the browser? No, you do not. That was one of the first things I said uh, I thought about because uh, I saw the original thing, you know, download this, log into your Gab account. Well, if you don't want to log into your Gab account and uh, you just want to use a good uh, browser that's much like Brave, um, it's going to have those features. So what's your major difference between this and Brave? Overall, I think for me, it just looks as though it's um, it doesn't support the BAT tokens. Of course, BAT is the way that, um, uh, that Brave supports the uh, creators who are on it. Not Firefox. Uh, I want to go to... It's going to do uh, equal opportunity offending. We're going to go to CNN. Now we're going to go to Fox News. You know, just stuff like that. So everything seems seems fine. Let's see what happens if I try and play a video on this. See if it will allow me to play or not. Let's go ahead and manually play it. So it did you can see the notice up here? It does block it. So we do have some good notifications up at the top. All right. And there, it seems to be playing. Stop now. Stop. Thank you. Uh, so you can actually get on here and uh, view different things. You can, you know, browse your web. It has a lot of your custom block lists. Um, so it seems to be running pretty good. So this might be something I give a try. What I might do is I might install this on my Arch system for a little bit. Uh, see how it runs. But definitely, if uh, Firefox is bugging you, you don't want to go to Chrome um, you're looking for another browser, definitely check out the Decenter browser, particularly if you have a Gab.ai account and you are interested in, in the features and things that they have, uh, or you want to support the, the crowd of guys that are concerned with where tech is going with free speech. So that's just kind of my thoughts. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.